Martin Rat, the last time we spoke was a couple of years ago when you'd literally just got into the studio. You were rehearsing for the reunion tour. It hit a little delay, of course, but you guys got out there eventually. And what a rip-roaring success it became. And it was, I mean, other than, well, one famous review in the Telegraph, which we didn't need to go over, um, there wasn't a single bad review that I read out there. I mean, let's start with all that then. How was it for you? How was that tour? How was that experience, the four of you being back together and on the road again? Um, well, it, it was very mixed at first. And I think if there hadn't been money on the table, it would never have happened. But when once we kind of started, there was, a, there was always a thing in the dam that each individual thought they were the best one in the group. And that that actually kind of was still there. Every you know, nobody wanted to let the side down. If you, it, it's probably a better way of putting it. And um, it kind of once it became obvious that everybody was you know going to go for it. It was you know, and I hate using phrases like that. Go for it because it sounds like shit. But everybody was quite determined to make it work, and I think everybody wanted it to be good. And it was. Uh, you know, and and it kind of the band took over again because it was, uh, you know, the the money became less important, and the fact that everybody got on and we all kind of kissed and made up, and were actually having a really good time playing the songs, and it just kind of became uh, the whole thing became a, a much greater experience than I thought it was going to be. Oh, fantastic. And in terms of the reception you guys got, I mean, from the fans, it was it was absolutely incredible, wasn't it? I mean, what was it like being back in front of those fans again, playing that music again? It was really gratifying, bless them. You know, the, that kind of, um, I don't know, because don't forget, I haven't been playing live for quite a few years. So suddenly going back out there and there was a lot of noise and a lot of people and it was good kind of it was um there was one part of me that was just get your head down and get on with this you know forget they're there because otherwise you're going to fuck it up but then the other thing kind of came in of you know everybody was sort of determined to enjoy it and i think that that kind of and that you know that always pushes the band along anyway when you've got people that aren't you know, that aren't afraid to let loose and have a good time. A guy called Vermilion Gecko from YouTube, he says, um, the roar from the crowd when Rat came out on stage to the Doctor Who theme tune, um, he hopes that you felt the love from the crowd when that happened because he said he was there and, and when you came out to that music, he said it was just like un unbelievable. <laughs> I was terrified they'd start booing and throwing things, to be honest with you. <laughs> but it was... Um, it was a great moment, yeah, because that was that was when I found out, <laughs> if you like, you know, because the audience is everything. Without the audience, you know, I'm I'm nothing at all, and and the approval that I got, you know, at, at that moment, you know, was kind of like wow, it nearly brought me to tears. It did. Oh. <laughs> and what was it like setting fire to the drum kit again after all those years? <laughs> Oh well, yes, I got into trouble really because I, I, I didn't realise health and safety had come on as much as it did. <laughs> Nobody knew I was going to do it, and I didn't know I was going to do it because I wasn't really sure that I should. But the um, the cameras were there, <laughs> and we were playing great, and it was one of those things of you know, well, why not? <laughs> but I did get terribly told off the following day and they confiscated the rest of my lighter petrol <laughs> <laughs> oh i love it absolutely love it absolutely uh, i think the last time we, we spoke as well you, you had mentioned that you didn't want to be looking over a grave and thinking what could have been i think that was your actual words so now that you've done that tour and you, you, you've been together do you, do you consider that that's done now is that the itch scratched kind of perhaps do you think or are we going to see something similar again in the future I, um, it, it's not completely done because it, it went well. <laughs> you know, if we'd have all had a miserable time, then, you know, I'd say no for sure. But it, the funny thing was really, you know, at, at the end, after the last show, we all chatted on at different times and every, we all agreed that we'd 
had a great time doing it and it was fun. And if the chance came up and it was the right opportunity, then, you know, maybe we should do it again. Whether that'll happen or not, it hasn't happened so far. So it, it's, you know, it's sort of an optimistic thing, I suppose. But yeah, there's, you know, we, like I say, it was nice that, you know, all those burning bridges in the background had finally finished. <laughs> I was going to say, did it heal old wounds? Because it sounds like you, by the end of it, you're all having a good time together. And, and have you kept in touch, that sort of thing? Yeah, to a degree we are. We, You know, it's uh, the, 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 the guys have been real busy, you know, because they've been, yeah. they had their new album out and, Obviously, they want to promote and tour and do everything like that. So, that, you know, they've been out on the road quite a lot. So I haven't really been in touch with them directly. But, you know, management and tour manager and people, you know, just sort of staying in touch. And, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So in terms of that, that tour then, I mean, what's your overriding memory from it? What do you take away from it? What's the one thing you'll, you'll look back on? I really don't know. It's because the whole thing was, you know, really worked it was kind of like everybody knew what they were supposed to do from the road crew to the people at the venues to the audience it was kind of everybody was on the same page it was and i think you know that's that's kind of what i remember what i remember most is just the whole thing as an overall experience i suppose was you know that 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 was a big lump to swallow if you like it was Thank you.